Hello everyone, Clint Seeley here. I just wanted to record a short tutorial to show you how to set up the Art Canvas workspace correctly. So every time that you uh, open Bernina's embroidery software and switch over to the Art Canvas, your workspace is going to look the same. It's going to be the way that you want it. One source of frustration that my students have been telling me about is that when they watch my tutorials and they switch over they open the program switch over to the art canvas the dockers are never set up correctly the program always reverts back to the program defaults I'll show you what I mean and I'll show you how to fix that so here I'll open the v6 software and by default we open in the embroidery canvas and then when we switch here to the art canvas you'll notice the Corel Draw Essentials always opens up over here to the right with the little hints docker and the object manager docker. The object manager docker is great. That's what we want. We don't need this hints, but more, more so the other dockers that I'm always loading in my tutorials that you'll load and then work with, save and close the program. Next time you open the program, those dockers are gone. You have to constantly load the dockers. I'm going to show you an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, usually the, thing, the first thing I do is close the hints and then I go over here to the uh, uh, windows the, and then the dockers fly out. You can see all of the dockers, well most of the dockers are listed here. I usually like you to load the contour docker so we'll load that and you see the contour docker over here then we'll go to we'll be working with this a lot under text the insert symbol character there you go and then I usually drag this to the left just a little bit to make it larger so we can see it nice and easy and you'll see this is a good working palette you know this is how we want our workspace to look it would be nice if every time we open the program these dockers that hints docker was gone and these dockers the object contour and insert character were automatically loaded we can do that it's real easy the one thing about the Bernina software opening the Corel engine inside it is that when we load these dockers and close it doesn't save them I'll show you what I'm talking about so say we've done a project and we're closing down our program no I don't want to save and then it's been a day or two or a few hours and we want to go back and work in our Bernina embroidery software. So I'll double click there, load the program. Say you've watched another tutorial and now you want to jump back into the software and create something cool. This will take just a minute. The thing is when the program loads you have to set your dockers up all over again. It can be kind of frustrating. <clears throat> okay, so here we are back into the embroidery canvas and then we switch back to the art canvas. And ugh, here we are. Hence docker is loaded. You know, you don't want to have to go through this operation time after time. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, make this problem go away. It'll be ancient history. You'll, you'll forget that we ever had this problem. Let's go ahead and close out the program. What we need to do is we need to load Corel Draw Essentials by itself, standalone. Now I, I'm using Windows 8 right now, so this process is going to look a little bit, little bit different as far as me finding um, Corel Draw Essentials. If you're using Windows 7, down here to the left, you'll, your start button will be right here, and you can just go and find Corel Draw Essentials by itself, that program, and load it. My little start button looks like this in Windows 8. I then have to scroll over till I find the program, which it'll look like this. Your little icon will look like this to uh, load Corel Draw Essentials for. Uh, standalone by itself or you can just hit the start button and start typing in Corel Draw Essentials it'll pop up and you can load it so let's go ahead and load Corel Draw Essentials now what we're doing is we're loading it by itself it's not attached to the Bernina embroidery software program <clears throat> we're just gonna hit 
uh, new blank document. <clears throat> and then from here, we're going to get rid of our hints. I'm going to drag this object manager out just a little bit, make it wider. That's the way that I like to do it. And then let's go ahead and load our, our dockers. So we'll go to Windows, Dockers, and I'm going to load the Contour Manager. And I'm going to load the Insert Symbol Character Docker. Now we have those three dockers are loaded, okay, the way that, the way that you want them. Now when we close Corel Draw, we have set the default. Every time from here on out that we open, and I'll show you, every time that we open the Bernina Embroidery software from here on out, when we switch to the Art Canvas, it will look correct the way that you want it. Let's double click and load the software. And this will take a second. If you didn't know already, you can go to about.me forward slash Clint Seeley to get more information. That's my little web page that has links to all of my other websites, to my Google Plus account, to my Facebook account. It, it, it's just a really good portal to find all of my other tutorials and information. Um, don't forget to stop by that website to check out more information. Okay, so now we've, we've loaded the embroidery software again. And now this time, when we switch to Art Canvas, ah, there we go. No more hints. No more hints, doctors, that we have to get rid of. We now have, and forevermore, we'll have our characters automatic, our insert character docker automatically loaded, the contour manager automatically loaded, object manager just the way that we want it. So you can say goodbye to all those frustrations, and you can... You don't have to set up now. You don't have to set up your workspace every single time. You can just get to creating. Thank you for watching uh, this tutorial. And like I said, go to my website to find other links, other tutorials. Thank you.